I've loved you since the first time I saw you in the second grade. You had this ponytail, and all I ever wanted to do was pull it. <laughs> and when you got to the fifth grade, and you got your braces, oh wow, let me just say, my, my heart stopped. <laughs> but that's nothing compared to our first kiss, which is bigger than the, the ponytail and the braces combined. I believe in a said. I can't imagine loving anyone else as much as I love you, or feeling as close as, as I feel with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Aiden. Naveed and Adriana get to the point where um, they feel like they can handle a baby, and um, as they, you know, c continue to like discuss it, um, they realize that they really want to um, take care of the baby. And uh, the first step in doing that, before they do that, is to get married. And so it's 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 huge for them, but it's it's almost like things are moving so fast that they feel like they can handle it. And so it's, it just keeps get, getting bigger and bigger and more exciting. And um, there's a lot of obstacles that come with that because um, I don't think Naveed knows what he's getting himself into. End of story. But dad, you don't- End of story. Um, they don't take it too easy. They're um, pretty shocked. And I, I, I come in in my first scene with my parents when I discuss uh, the fact that we're getting married and we're in love and they freak out. And my whole thing is, what are you freaking out about? We can handle this, we have money, uh, we have resources. Like, what, what's, what's wrong with that? So my character has this very like, innocent approach where he truly believes that he can like, live in the guest house and, and raise a baby, get married. And he feels like it's normal. He's, he's made sense of it in his head, but his parents are like in shock. They, they don't understand it at all. It gets hard because you know I'm a sophomore in high school and it's, I, I think, no one ever thinks about you know someone in high school having to deal with a baby, um, let alone a marriage. And so all those is just really high stakes for a kid. And so I think the parents, you know, they already have me as a kid, so they all they need is you know a family in their house. And that's just too much for I think any family to handle at such a young age. Perfect. <laughs> okay, anything you don't want, throw out. You're gonna have to clean out that guest room to make room for the kid. And you better be getting a job. You are not living here rent-free, that's for sure. I wouldn't dream of it, ma'am. Uh, it's, they don't really know each other too well. I mean, she's, she's let um, Naveed live in their house, but I, I think uh, the mom is kind of like, okay, he can live here as long as he pays rent, as long as he does some chores. Yeah, like, so she th sees it as kind of a bonus, you know, um, extra help because she, I, I guess they don't have um, as many financial means as like my parents would do, so. Um, He's getting to know the mom. Yeah, well, he's just, uh, Adrian is having a bridal baby shower, and then the guy just came up for, you know, with a party for me, and uh, it's all last minute. And I guess um, Ethan and Dixon didn't know what to do with me. They didn't know what kind of party they wanted, so I think they went to Liam. And Liam's the guy with the fake IDs. Liam's the, the one with the connections. So it's like I'm just rolling with it, and I'm having a great time. And it's a crazy uh, bachelor party they have set up for me. I have more scenes with the guys, which is cool. Um, they're, they're writing a lot more for us. So it's like uh, every time we're together, it's like entourage style, so it's cool. You don't drink. <laughs> well, tonight I, well, tonight I do. I just don't think he knows what he's doing. He's just doing the best he can with, with what he has, so. You'll get to see how he he uh, he grows up some more um, towards the latter part of the series.